absolutely massive announcement today from the Department of Homeland Security brought to you here by the Seasonal Employer Alliance, a great lobby group you should join if you haven't before. My name is Damien DeNoble, this is Law Great. On this channel we talk about a lot of things immigration with a heavy focus on H-2B visas for seasonal employers um, and their employees. So massive announcement for the first time ever, we have a, an announcement for the entire fiscal year of the H-2B program of additional workers, 64,716 additional workers to be exact, 44,716 visas will be allocated to returning workers, which are workers with a previous H-2B certification, previous three fiscal years, and 20,000 will be allocated to the Northern Triangle countries only of El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. Notably, Haiti is no longer on that uh, list. And we'll get into why and what this means for you, just like we will get into the nitty gritty of this announcement right after the break. Hey everybody, welcome back. 64,716 visas. What? Uh, that would be an, an, an intense, an intense release of visas if it was just for the October 2022 year. It's, but it's actually for the entire, entire fiscal year cycle. So for both the October 2022 cycle and the April 2023 cycle of H-2B visas. What we know is that there are additional details coming on exactly how these visas will be divided between the two cycles. They won't all be made available at once because we know we need to smooth out the April cycle. But the reason that this is such an important announcement is that in previous years, when we've had each cycle get its own allocation of, of visas, what this has meant is that each one of those uh, allocations has been subject to political and bureaucratic back and forth that has severely slowed down uh, when those visas actually become available to employers, making many of the allocated visas essentially useless to the employers who need them. The hope with this, and this is what the Seasonal Employer Alliance lobby group uh, and champions of this announcement um, have been uh, you know, fighting for and have been arguing for is that uh, when we know ahead of time how many additional visas there are gonna be, employers can make decisions ahead of time and actually you know, have some predictability in their business models. And it's going to be easier, one hopes, uh, that if you miss out on the lottery, you can go straight into, you know, straight through the program, and once you do get to your, you know, lottery group and get approved, you can just go ahead and apply for the extra allotment of visas, uh, as opposed to waiting for a new announcement. And so what I'm hoping for to see, and I'm not sure if this is going to be the case, is let's say you get into the lottery in the first three days, and you whiff, you're not in group A or B, you're in one of the later groups, well, now it makes a hell of a lot of sense for you to really continue through with the program if you know that even when you get a certification and it's outside the lottery, you're gonna be applying for that additional visa allotment because maybe it'll be immediately released. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, now, what we could see is that, you know, the uh, DHS is gonna say, well, uh, the there's allotment A and allotment B. Allotment B will be, you know, you can file for it on XYZ date and then you'd have to wait, let's say March 31st or let's say April 2nd. Uh, so you have to wait until then to file for it. You know, for this October visa cycle, I think we're gonna get an announcement saying that you can apply for them pretty much right away. So this is a game changer. This is a game changer because it fundamentally changes this program. It essentially doubles it in size and that is what seasonal employers need right now. So just like really huge victory. I wanna take a moment to talk about why um, only the Northern Triangle countries are places where you can get additional workers from. For, number one, um, this program uh, is part of um, kind of the flagship effort of the Biden administration, which has gone under the radar to put at the forefront legal migration into the US, particularly from the Northern Triangle countries, which since 2014 have featured in multiple surges of uh, asylum seekers coming to the border um, to ask for asylum, enter the United States. There's been a whole political mess uh, around these, uh, you know, uh, various and multiple migrations, um, as we've all seen, and I don't need to get into here. The goal is, you know, that's considered kind of irregular migration, but employer programs are called regular migration. And so the hope is by featuring and strengthening the consular abilities of the Northern Triangle countries, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, to handle legal workers, and by giving them preference we're gonna be cutting down on some of that irregular migration that we see into the US, which might be uh, 
due in some part, right, probably a large part due to economic migrants. Haiti was originally on the list, largely for the same reasons, right? It's like we want to, again, control regular migration in our hemisphere, but Haiti really failed last year. I mean, they failed in the program. I was just getting call after call after call after call of, hey, I, I'm an employer that got certified for Haiti employees. They went to the interview and they're just getting denied, 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 denied. And th there's just something wrong there. You, you've got a country that's essentially a failed state at this point, right? Assassinated leader, just chaos after earthquake, after hurricane, after, uh, you know, political, you know, problem after political problem. And so it looks like they've been taken off that list. Northern Triangle countries, by con uh, contrast, they've showed great improvement in their ability to process these visas. So the Seasonal Employer Alliance uh, paper, which you can, you, you can follow along to here and I'll put, put a link in, says, um, since the initial Northern Triangle visa allocation in May of 2021, SEA, Seasonal Empl Employment Alliance, worked closely with the Northern Triangle governments, USAID, and the State Department to rectify worker recruitment and processing issues faced by H-2B stakeholders. These efforts resulted in a 230% increase in H-2B visa issuances from Northern Triangle countries from 2021, 2022, and in 2023, SEA expects that number to be even higher. And it thanks great workforce agencies, JKJ Workforce Agency, Great Recruitment Group, Masla Board, and Practical Employee Solutions for their commitment to this initiative. Um, so that's really awesome. I wanna put this on your radar. I'm gonna talk a lot more about it as, as we get more details, but you know, happy, happy Thursday, everybody. Uh, this is this is uh, a great thing for everybody. If you have questions about H2Bs, uh, if you're an employer going through the process, we're taking clients through November 10th give us a call. Uh, you can set up a free 15 minute consult um, on our website from TerraTech. Link is in the bottom. Thanks so much.